Coming your way on a very special community affairs program on KNUJ, which also we're going to do a video of to post on our Facebook and our website. And uh, we always like to talk to state champions. I've gone through this many, many years, a lot of times with sports. But now we've got some state champions here in Knowledge Bowl from Minnesota Valley Lutheran High School. My name is Jim Bartles, and uh, Kincaid Dearson and Stephanie Dose are with me right now. And we're in the school at MVL. A little bit of backdrop here for you. We're going to find a little bit about the uh, Knowledge Bowl team. They took first in state. Stephanie, I better start with you. Uh, it was back earlier in April when this happened. Tell me where it was and uh, any other background in terms of maybe what the weather was like. <laughs> So the meet was hosted at Cragen's Resort in Brainerd, Minnesota, a couple hours up north. And it was on the 10th and 11th of April. And on the 10th of April, we had a snowstorm in southern Minnesota. So we actually left school at 8 o'clock, which was pretty early. And so we were ahead of the snowstorm the whole way up. And then pretty soon after we got to the meet, it started snowing. And we were stuck there for a couple days. <laughs> Okay, very good. But up at Cragen's, not a bad place to be stuck. King Care Dearson is with us. Uh, you've got a couple other team members. Two of you are here. Who are the other team members? Uh, we have Marshall Moore. He's a senior here. And then Jonah Cromer, who's a sophomore. All right. And your advisor or your team coach is? Mr. Dobberpool. Stand over there in the back. All right. Heath Dobberpool, and we'll talk to him in a little bit as well. Uh, I've never been to a Knowledge Bowl meet and probably most of our listeners and viewers have not as well. So, Stephanie, what's it like? I mean, you go and, and did you have to qualify through a regional? How did you qualify for state? And then what's the meet like? So we qualified for state at first our sub-regional and then our regional meet. At the sub-regional meet, the top 12 schools in the class go on to the regional meet. And then at the regional meet, you send the top two teams on to state. And most of the meets, we get there maybe 10, 20 minutes early, have a little bit of a snack. There's usually donuts and juice provided. And then we start the meet with a written round where every team goes to a table and we get about 60 multiple choice questions that we have 60 minutes to answer. Then after the written round, we're placed in rooms according to our scores. And there are four rounds where we have 45 oral questions and we sit at our tables and they ask us one question after the, after the other. And we have to buzz in when we know the answer and then give our answer. And we're competing against two other teams in the rooms. Sounds a little bit like a game show yeah. competition. Mm -hmm. right? It's pretty much like a game show, yeah. All right, wow. So, Kincaid, what was it like, first of all, let's say winning region, getting to state. You know you're going to be what of what? How many teams? 24 teams? How many? Yeah, I think 24 was the right number. Uh, winning region was a big deal to us. We... We were hoping to get there, and that was actually our goal at the beginning of the year. So seeing that fulfilled and then going on to state, we were having high hopes for that year. I should have asked earlier, what grade are all? Are you all seniors? What grade are you in? Uh, I'm a junior. Stephanie's a senior. Then Marshall's a senior, and Jonah's a sophomore. Okay. All right. First year in the Knowledge Bowl team, or have you been on before? I've been in Knowledge Bowl since actually eighth grade of when I was at grade school. So this is my fourth year. What do you enjoy about Knowledge Bowl? Uh, the people and just the knowledge, I know I kind of, I really like learning. So getting to these random facts about the most random things and then just having fun with all my friends. I'm sure you remember, Stephanie, some of the questions. I mean, this, this sounds like a meat grinder activity you're going through and you got to push a button and get to who gets the answer first. What would some of the topics and questions be that you were receiving as one of the p competitors at the state? Um, there are a lot of different topics. There's history, geography, literature, there's science. There are also paper and pencil questions, which are just a fancy way of saying math questions. Those are really fun. A lot of times there are questions about puns. There will be a lot of questions that have puns in them, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. You remember one of the topics, one of the questions right off hand, Kincaid? Oh, one of the... What, what was our favorite question this year that we had? There was one about the answer was zombies. That was probably, that was interesting to have. It's not a normal, not a normal trivia question. I can't think of any in particular. There's, there's quite a few about sports actually. So that's interesting to see. It, it's got a wide variety of questions. Talking to members of the MVL State Champion Knowledge Bowl team, Kincaid, Stephanie are with us right now. How do you practice for this? I mean, you just get out. I mean, in the old days, I'd say we would have got out encyclopedias. Well, you don't have those anymore. 
How do you practice for Knowledge Bowl and get ready for the competition? Um, we usually have one practice a week, and we get all of our teams together. We usually have teams ranging from four people to six people sometimes. And we all we have strips that we set out, the strips we use to buzz in. And then Mr. Dabrapool or Mr. Nails, our other coach, will read through old question sets from previous years, and we buzz in just like it's a regular written round that we would have at a meet. Sounds interesting. Kincaid, what was it like? How did you find out that you won? What's, what's the setting when they announce the top scores and is the first place team, the championship team, the last one to be announced? Yeah, they, they uh, announce per section, no, sorry, class. They announce per class uh, the top seven or so. But usually most of us keep track like because we can see per round how many points we have so stephanie's always the one who kept track she keeps track on our paper how much points we have and we just compare that to the other teams so we always know pretty much where we are so you knew you knew that you had won after you finished the last question right yes we, we unless, unless some other team from another room jumps up and gets a lot of points how many classes are there i assume you're talking like a class a double a whatever uh, for knowledgeable, there's just the two since it's technically not MSHSL run. Who were some of the other top teams? Like who finished second, third? Do you remember some of those? Yeah, um, second was Holly. Holly finished second, and it was actually interesting because the night before we had played a pickup game of basketball with them, and then the next day we found out they were our main competitors. So there was a, and was it close the whole time? Did you win by a large margin or short margin? Uh, we only won by five and a half. Uh, we were pretty close with them for most of the day, actually. And they were our main competitors. And other teams came into room one with us, but mostly Holly we were f focused on. Right. And so how many total points did you have? You remember what the total points were? He's looking right now. He's got the scorecard in front of him. We ended with 129 and a half, and they ended with 124. All right, had to be pretty. What happens after you win? High fives? What do you do? What did we do? Um, there was a lot of smiles, uh, giddy kind of bouncing, and uh, I don't know. And you got to spend an extra night uh, because of the weather, or did you come back that night? Uh, we, we spent an extra night because of the blizzard, so that was nice to just unwind, relax, have a bunch of just eat a ton of food. It was really nice. Real, real good. Kincaid, I'm going to let you slide around. We're going to have uh, your coach, Heath Dauberpol, is going to come and join us. He'll be here in just a little bit. Stephanie, so is, is, uh, are there a lot of do, – do parents come to watch us? What, what do you have for spectators? So for the regular season, there aren't really any spectators. You can come, but it's usually just the teams in the room. But then for the state meet, there are about five or six spectators for each round. Um, all of our mothers for our team, um, my mom, Kincaid's mom, and then also Marshall and uh, Jonah, their moms came and sat and watched, and then we also had our coaches watching. That was really fun. Once again, uh, we're talking with members of the MVL Knowledge Bowl team, state champions here in 2019. Heath Dabrapol is with us right now. Heath, what's it like being, you're one of the two coaches. It's got to be exciting for a coach just like it would be in any sport. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun to play Knowledge Bowl. Um, it's, it's such a different activity compared to most things that you might be doing. And, you know, to have it be academic on, on top of competitive at the same time is, is just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to uh, just see, see the team progress and, and uh, do well throughout the season. MVL has had Knowledge Bowl for how long, perhaps, or maybe how many years? And, and do you have more than one team? We have had Knowledge Bowl for about 25 years, I believe. Somewhere in the mid-'90s we started up. Um, we've fluctuated through the years. I've been coaching for 12 years now around, used to be with Ron Wells before we retired and now with Bradley Nails. Um, we fluctuate between, uh, 20 to 30, some, uh, students on a team each year. Since you can only have four or five on a team at a time, that usually means we have four to six to seven teams each year. And when you go to competitions, all the teams come along. How does that work? Well, if it's a school day, we limit the amount of students that can, can go at one time. So we usually only take five teams to a meet. Uh, we try to get our, our season team like uh, MVL Black that, that won this year or MVL Gold. Uh, also advanced the state as the second team for the region. Um, so, you know, we, we try to get them as much seasoning as possible because it, knowledge bowl and buzzing in at the right time is really an acquired skill. And it sounds like, again, uh, 
it's not just seniors, juniors, but you have uh, underclassmen as well? Yeah, and I think one of the things that we've done quite a bit lately for our MVL teams is uh, we've really not paid attention to what grade you're in, but rather um, putting a good diverse team together that will talk to each other, that will listen to each other, and hopefully know a lot of stuff about a lot of different things. Nice trophy and plaque go with being state champions? Well, each of them got a, a nice medal to take home. Uh, we got a trophy uh, that uh, will be going in the trophy case uh, shortly. Um, we're kind of excited this year because we haven't had a state championship in, in anything for a while here at MVL, but you know we won the math uh, team championship this year and the Knowledge Bowl now, so we're excited. They're going to put some banners together and to hang them in the gymnasium, and uh, it'll just look a little more decorated in there now. <laughs> One last question for Stephanie. There's not just for MVL and the students here, but other schools that have Knowledge Bowl teams. What would you say about to somebody who's thinking about going out for the Knowledge Bowl team? What would you tell them? I would say definitely do it. Um, you might not feel like you know a lot of things or you feel like you might not be good on a team, but there are just so many questions and you're going to know something. And even beyond that, just it's a really great team bonding experience playing with each other, playing card games in between the rounds, and just really getting to know your classmates. How much practice time, Heath, is, is required of your team members as you get ready for competitions? Well, we have a practice every week, but really, I, I really have the expectation that they're going to be putting some time in outside of practice. You know, if, you, if you're going to go to state, and especially if you're going to do well at state, just showing up at practice wouldn't be enough to, to do that well. So... You know, I, I do send questions home with them. I, I do have certain things that I have them say divvy up the uh, amendments of the Constitution, and each one of you have to know a quarter of them, and you got to know the, the uh, moons of this planet. You know the moons of that planet, and you do these Shakespeare's, and you do those Shakespeare's. You read these books, and everybody should bring something to the table with them then. And, um, you know, if they do that, that just might get them a few more points every meet, and that might be what pushes them over the top. Tell you what, fun and uh, interesting finding out more about Knowledge Bowl. So Stephanie and Kincaid, who's behind the camera right now, and to Marshall and Jonah, who are not here, and also to Coach uh, Heath Doberpool. Congratulations once again. Great to have you on. Great to have you featured on KNUJ, on Community Affairs, and also on our, our uh, digital and website as well. That's going to do it for now. Jim Bartles from MVL coming your way, talking about the state champions here from MVL in-state Knowledge Bowl competition.